straight out of Narawahi in New Zealand, here's Mario. Hello, I'm Mario Vlogs, number 434, Sights. Hello, hello, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I've chosen today's background, which is an art print of a very typical New Zealand summer scene at a at a beach with the little the batch and the caravan. I've chosen that as uh, my theme today is sort of two sides to every story, and at the moment it's a it's a cold, uh, wintry uh, situation. It's um gets rid of all the bugs and it's um, interesting times but on the flip side or the other side of that of course is the height of summer where we get to enjoy beautiful scenery like this and wonderful weather that's depicted here in this uh, print by a, a New Zealand artist so yes and what, what's prompted me to talk about sides is today um, it's things that exams are on and students are finishing up their exams and they're sort of relaxing and winding down for the holiday so it's a good opportunity to have a little bit of a chat about uh, different things so on a couple of occasions today I've had a chat to a couple of students and uh, just found out the other side of the story uh, a lot of um, students you know with what they bring to the party and how things are happening from their point of view it's um very easy to see it from the side point of view of the tutor and the the educator and the results that you want. But if you you know can take the time sometimes just to talk to students and find out what's going on, and um, in both cases I got a very interesting insight into you know their thinking and and how they approach things and stuff like that. And I well, I enjoyed the interaction. Uh, it was very good and it was um, very insightful. So I'm hopeful that I'll be able to apply or remember what I've learned and that a little help me to, uh, you know, just have a little bit of a better understanding of, uh, you know, what's where students come from, are coming from and what's involved in their situation. So, yeah, that was my uh, sort of thought for today, a little bit uh, philosophical. Now, I did get a chance to do one snippet today, and that's that's all. So, well, let's have a have a bit of a look at this, and then we can see how that pans out and, um, you know, relate it to the diary and what actually well, happened. Well, I've just got into work. It's just gone 8.30. It's a real frosty morning. <laughs> Car was iced up. I had to get up early and get it um, warmed up. Couldn't open the driver's door. It was all iced up. And so I had to get in the passenger's drawer and drive into work. And I've just got to work now, and thankfully I can get out the uh, passenger door, which is good. But uh, we've got a cloudless sky, um, a very crisp morning. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to probably a pretty good day, uh, hopefully. But, woo, it was pretty, um, pretty cold overnight. And so, yes, let's uh, see what develops. So into the maths exam at uh, nine o'clock. Yes, yeah, so um, I, I went from there and uh, caught up with the students before their exam and they were in, in really good spirits, I thought, and uh, quite uh, oh, confident and cheery going in. I don't know whether that was uh, about how they felt about the exam or perhaps the fact that for some of them it was the last exam and freedom was the other three hours time they were uh, free for a a good period of time but uh no it was, it was uh quite an encouraging um little, little uh exercise just catching up with them beforehand and uh, one or two afterwards so yes we got the exam the maths exam underway and that, that was uh, uh it was great and then um yes it was very uh cold this morning but a crisp uh, crisp cold a dry cold and a lovely, a lovely sunny day. So if you could get out in the sun and 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 that have you, it was it was, um, it was beautiful, uh, wonderful. So I did actually uh, come home with the view in mind of doing a little bit of yard work, but it was very cold. And uh, well, fortunately, my uh, wife wanted to ride back into town to pick up her vehicle, which had been uh, been in the shop, uh, getting a few minor adjustments to it. So. 
uh, that sort of uh, took care of that. But uh, I think we're well up to date with the lawns, uh, certainly. So, and uh, we'll have some free days coming up. So, might be able to have a bit of a catch up there. So, that's uh, that's always good. Now, um, so I see it sides. I'm going to have a, a picture, a picture puzzle, a pick. Oh, I, I don't quite. I haven't. Uh, it's a picture puzzle today. I'll call it a pick puzz. <laughs> picture puzzle today, which is something new, a new sort of one that I've found. So um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, where, what, who, 119, hint one. So that's um, warming up there. We'll see if how, how that goes. And uh, yes, yeah, so I had a couple of students. I uh, wanted a bit of uh, tutorial help with a, a couple of assignments and things that they were just finishing off. So um, once I got the uh, did my duties with the exam getting sorted, um, I went and uh, spent some time with them and as well as caught up on a couple of issues with a couple of colleagues and things. And uh, yes, I think I managed to get a... Well, some of my emails cleared anyway, but um, we'll perhaps do a little bit more of that later on tonight. So let's um, let's uh, see what today's challenge is, and it's something a wee bit different. So, um, and I'll leave it up here. So can you find the four hidden words? So in this picture here, within the picture itself, there are some hidden words. So there's four of them. So... Um, it takes a little while, um, to, well, some of them are quite obvious and you find it and you think, oh, yes, and then you can't stop seeing it. But until you see it once, of course, then um, then it's uh, a little bit tricky. So there's four words in there and, uh, yes, you need to just list the four words. You don't need to say uh, where they are or whatever, but just uh, what the four words are. So, um you know, now I can see now when I started, I had trouble finding, uh, well, one stood out pretty easily, but a couple of the others, not so much. But now I just, every time I look, I just can't help but uh, see them. So, uh, yes, just write down the four words in the comments uh, in the comments below. Now, yesterday's, um, what was yesterday's? Oops, oh, here it is here. Yesterday's. One was uh, what is the lowest temperature recorded in New Zealand, and it was in the in the video. It, it was negative twenty five point six at Ranfurly in nineteen hundred and three, I think. So uh, Moz got that uh, straight up pretty pretty smartly. So um, yeah, he goes on to the uh, Hall of Fame, as I call it. I don't know, I don't know why. Um, so I just keep it ten there. I've got it set up as a Excel spreadsheet now, as previously it was a PowerPoint, so I just keep adding it and just keep showing uh, the last 10. So uh, yes, that's um, that's all good there. So well, I think that brings us to the end of today's vlog, just a little, a little philosophical little vlog maybe, with uh, talking about how there's two sides to every, every story, uh, the winter, summer uh, thing and what have you. So I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. And, well, thank you for liking and subscribing, for commenting, for viewing, and all of those marvellous things that you do in support of me and my channel. I appreciate your sterling efforts. All good. Cheers. See you. Smash that like button. The end.